What's up, guys and gals, and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Today, we are going to be reacting to the new Forest trailer with the release date. I woke up this morning to about a billion messages from every platform, and I'm extremely excited to see this new trailer. Now, after the reaction, I am going to be doing a breakdown of the trailer. I need to watch it quite a few times. I'll probably spend a couple hours doing that. We are watching this video from IGN's page. If you would, go watch the trailer over on their channel. Give it a like, possibly a comment. All right. Without further ado, deep breath. Let's go. May 20th, 2022. Um, wow, there's a lot to take in there. I'm really thankful to have got famous on a game like this because that was possibly the best trailer I think I've ever seen for any video game, bar none. Some people are into shooters. I am a huge survivalist and a horror game player, and that was pure candy. That was absolutely unbelievable. My mind has officially been blown. Okay, so I'm going to spend the next three to four hours watching this trailer over and over and over and see if I can pick out some of the finer details about it. Breakdowns are not my forte, so there's maybe some things that I miss. And if you spot something that I don't, let me know down in the comments section. Okay, so I've sat down and I've watched this video through and through for the past couple hours. And I think I'm left with more questions than answers. But that is what Id Knight is good at. Leaving you wanting more. They did that a lot with the last game, with their constant updates and extension onto the story. But nevertheless, the first scene, I do believe, is kind of like a showcase. Letting you know, hey, this is the new forest. And I'm beautiful. I did a very good job of that. The graphics look absolutely insane. The second scene showing what I think is Timmy putting together a makeshift shelter out of sticks and a survival blanket, showcasing the beautiful animations and new crafting sequences. I'm seeing something out in the ocean. I can't make out what it is. Kind of looks like a survival boat. But who knows? Showing off some more of those amazing crafting sequences, sharpening a spear. I do not approve of this part of the trailer because turtles are sacred, but the level of detail in that turtle's skinned back could make for a nice stew if you're evil. Also, look at the foam from the waves. The amount of detail is insane. Now, this is one of the parts of the trailer that has me kind of confused. I'm assuming that these guys were put here by the cannibals, but it's hard to make out exactly what they are. They kind of look like the military personnel that we came here with. Timmy seems to be wearing a similar outfit 
Maybe they were part of a team of some past failed missions. I have no clue. But to state the obvious, they're dead, and they were put there for some kind of intimidation factor. Not much to say about this part other than I'm not going to simp out. That's something men do not do, especially to mutants. Again, the level of detail in this scene is absolutely mind-blowing. The waterfall, her multiple legs and arms glisten in the sunlight, along with other regions of her body I will not mention. But none of what I just said matters. Now, the information on this, let's just call her a mutant or a Virginia, is that she's going to be an optional NPC. You're going to have the option to take her along with you, or I do believe you can just leave her behind. Let her do her thing. Who knows? She's off in the forest dancing, trying to make you simp. But you know the old saying, you can't make a mutant a housewife. There's quite a lot going on in this scene, showcasing the animations and the AI's ability to adapt on what's going on. In the beginning of the scene, you can see a lot of leaves getting kicked up. I don't know if that's a trap being set off or if that's just a cannibal zipping through the forest, kicking up a wake of debris behind him. I have no idea, but I'll say it in probably every scene, the amount of detail is insane. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to stop saying that. These cannibals seem to be kind of similar to the skinnies from the last forest. They are the lower rank cannibals in the game. They slither around like snakes. They have no intelligence. They just attack and eat mindlessly. There's a couple of parts in the scene where you can see the cannibals limbs have been severed, which gets me all excited inside. Anytime you put destructible models in a game, it just makes it a hundred times better. I can't wait to play with the fighting dynamic of this game. It has been absolutely revamped. You can see the cannibals are helping each other. It seems as though they have a bunch of different attacks from climbing to jumping, countering. It's either going to be really fun figuring out the fighting system or it's going to suck really bad. But nonetheless, I'm excited for it. Now we move on down into the cave systems. And right off the bat, I can tell the ambience and the lighting is way better. Not to mention the detail. Oh, there goes that word again. In this scene, we can see improved bat animations, sharks, mutants, deformed and merged cannibals, some flotation devices. Why those are there, I have no idea. And a lot of aggression displayed by the cannibals and the mutants. The shark seems pretty chill, though. But I digress. Moving on to the next scene, we have a quick little shot of the new and improved inventory. And might I say it looks stacked. To see another shot of the inventory, you can check out the pictures that were released by N Knight on the internet. Just look up Sons of the Forest inventory. Now this shot looks like the right side of the inventory, but there's still a lot of stuff missing that this new trailer reveals. As you can see on the pictures they released, you can't see the MREs, the containers of instant noodles, or the oysters, or what appears to be oysters. Now, I can't go on without giving credit where it's due. There's a guy named Farkett who did a complete breakdown of this inventory. He's a good friend of mine, and he makes some of the most in-depth videos on trailer breakdowns and the previous forest that you'll ever see. I'll put his link down in the description so you guys can check it out. The next scene is showcasing some of the weapons, the shotgun and the taser, a severed head, a head on a stick, and a beautiful sunset in the background. One of the parts in this scene, it shows a cannibal on the ground holding what kind of looks like a hook of some sort. I can't quite make out what it is, but his arm is gone. Pretty cruel that you're going to tase a man <laughs> with no arm. These look like higher ranking cannibals. We always see one with a golden mask, which I'm assuming is the head honcho of the group. I'm wondering if they're going to be competing tribes. I have no idea, but there does seem to be some sort of hierarchy within these groups. Maybe if the head honcho of the group is killed, then the other ones get scared and run away. Only time will tell. And addressing the head on the stick, uh, there's definitely going to be some sort of an intimidation factor, a.k.a. a repellent, something that scares the cannibals away. Kind of what I thought for the longest time the effigies were for in the original forest. But apparently they weren't that effective, and honestly, I don't think they worked at all. There's a whole mess of stuff going on in this scene. At first, you can see Timmy cutting the top of the fence. I'm assuming to keep cannibals from climbing over, because in the next scene, you can clearly see him just hopping right over the fence. Next, we see your Virginia wife protecting you from the mean cannibals with a shotgun and a handgun. A woman with multiple arms and hands. I could say a lot about, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. 
Next, what we have is what appears to be two cannibals interlocking at the legs. The one on the bottom is walking on its hands, and the one up top is going to be throwing haymakers. Also in this scene, it appears that they're showing off a little bit of the fire dynamics. In Timmy's hand is a Molotov cocktail, and as you can see in the bushes, a fire seems to be spreading. The next scene is showing Timmy holding some type of brochure for a underground bunker or bunkers for sale. I've seen these before where people will deck out old missile silos, turn them into survival shelters, and you can buy out one of the floors. There's like a hundred floors. And you have access to a whole lot of stuff. Hydro gardens, running water, electricity. I've seen some where you can control drones from the inside to get a scope as to what's going on on the surface. They're crazy, but they are expensive. And it seems like also with the digging aspect of this game, we're going to uncover this bunker, find a bunch of crap in it. I feel like it's going to hold a lot of the keys to the story. Also in the scene, we have a private plane. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Maybe this was somebody flying in to uh, move into their bunker or check it out and ended up getting destroyed by some cannibals. Who knows? Let's see if we can read the back of this. Luxury facilities, gourmet kitchen, large bedrooms, storage, private courtyard, concept images only, actual suits may vary, exclusive amenities, personal chef with custom menus, fully catered media rooms, state-of-the-art pool facilities, ventilation, and business center. I told you, these things are crazy, and they do exist in real life. The last scene starts out with Timmy having trouble fighting off a big, massive wall of flesh. I do believe it's the same wall of flesh that you find in the laboratory in the first forest. Only this time it's not behind a pane of glass and it is uh, active. And as Timmy struggles to fight this thing off, Eric LeBlanc, the father, comes in to save Timmy. Now it does kind of seem like these are the bunkers. I'm not 100% sure. But as the camera pans right, you can see what appears to be an exit or an entrance into the facility. I have no idea. But it kind of looks like they're trying to keep this thing from escaping the building. I don't know. Like I said, I have more questions than answers. I got a feeling they're going to drop one more trailer on this game prior to release. And that about wraps it up. That's all I could gather from this trailer. I'm pretty sure later on I will see things. And there will be other people that pick up on things that I didn't. And again, if you saw something that I didn't, let me know down in the comments section. I have played the original Forest through and through, and it's what made me famous. If you're new to the channel, go check out my series. I've made dozens of them, including some how-tos, and I would be honored if you joined the Mad Army. May 20th can't come fast enough. I am super stoked. Hope to see you there on the release. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.